Go ahead, put it on real tight. I hope you brought your best tonight. They say they got the fireworks, yeah, they say they got the show. Here around the shoots, you're the best, so let's go. This is Texas Toast. I'm your host, Miss Helen. Kick back and enjoy as we toast the best from Texas. Texas on tap. I just in the mood, I'm just in the mood to say aloha. Aloha. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I don't know why. You're going to have a luau this weekend? Yeah, I might do that. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. I'll, you should I'll be come. The, yeah, I'll be the hula dancer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so can you hear, is everything good? You can't hear it. Game's on downstairs. That's why I'm up here. Oh, uh, no, it's good. It's okay. nice and quiet. Yeah. So, all right. Well, you're home. I am home. I actually kind of get the weekend off. I'm playing a show this weekend, but it'll be nice and chill and fun. I'm playing drums, actually, on Saturday. It's going to be kind of strange. Oh, but... man. Please send me a video of you playing drums. I love to watch, <laughs> I love to watch the drum players. Yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll get a video for you. Yeah, it's been to see that. It's been like five years since I've played drums, actually. And uh, Shelton, who we had on the podcast, he's getting a little, little reunion show. A couple old Houston bands back together, and we're playing a show at White Oak on Saturday. So that'll be... Oh, that's a cool. lot of fun. Yeah. What other instruments do you play? Um, I play a little bit of piano, mainly guitar and sing, obviously, but uh, drums was my first instrument. And then I kind of, it just, I guess it didn't really stick or I don't know. Guitar is more fun for me, but I like Whoa. to sit behind the drums every now and then, you know? <laughs> that was a good thing. I guess it didn't really stick. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, didn't even, oh, I didn't even catch that. Nice. That was lame. All right. Ready to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I love it. Okay, you ready to jump into some yeah, music? Yeah, let's do you, it. You go. You have good stuff. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I got a bunch of young guns this week, so I'm going to start off with a guy we've – actually, I think we've talked about all these guys now on my list, but uh, Logan Janky. I'm going to start off with him. We talked about his song Wild Child a couple weeks back, and that was – I guess it wasn't his debut, but it was like his first song out in a couple years, and he just actually signed with Floating Leaf, who is, you know, Co Wetzel, Kobe Cooper, Pecos, all those guys. So big news for him. I'm sure everybody will be hearing about him soon if you haven't already. But he just put out a new song with Colby Cooper called Who Am I to Judge? And uh, I guess I want to put a disclaimer out there. If profanity is not your thing, this might not be your song. Um, but it is just a solid country tune. It's in the vein of like Colby Cooper and all that stuff. The chorus is just so honest. And I, I don't know, it just really hit me. You know, it's, it's kind of just like... I, here I am, you know, being upset about something, but but I'm doing bad shit too. So yeah, I know, who am I like, to judge? I, t- I totally groove that song. Totally. I mean, that was really good. But the but the one thing I have to say is, it's like I, I mean, at least he's calling himself out, but he's putting right. her, but he's putting everything out there. Yep, exactly. Just laying but, it all. Yeah, on the table. but I just love the beat. I love the rhythm. I love mm-hmm. the voices. I just love the mix and the whole the whole concept behind this song. Who am I to judge? I think we've all been on both sides of that at one time or another. Absolutely. hundred percent. Yeah. Just super, super relatable. And it's a great song for him to have Colby on as well. Colby's voice just sounded so great on there. Oh no. I love Colby. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. And then speaking of those guys, kind of in the same realm, another dude we've talked about a whole lot. Jacob Stelly just dropped a brand new song. And this one is, it's weird to say that it's different because he's been so in his niche with all of his songs in the last year. And I think we've covered every, or at least I've covered every single one. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's still Jacob Stelly, but it's like a, it's like a quirky piano song. And the story is just, you know, it's, it's, the song's called growing up and it's just about, you know, who knew growing up would be this hard essentially. And it's such a relatable story again, but like, uh, man, it's like a pop banger you know and it's like I said it's still Jacob's voice but it's it's something new and it's fresh and it's exciting and he just played a show with part he just opened up for Parker McCollum last week so I'm super happy for him he's got all kinds of cool stuff going on the one thing I liked about that song lyrically was it's kind of like you know you're on that cusp of do I just stay in this comfort zone and stay with this person or then what am I looking at over here but then the, the way it was just all laid out and presented mm-hmm. and the harm. I mean, it's just like, it was a great song. All of your picks are, all of your picks are so good. This week. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well then let's jump into the tap room. And this is someone that uh, I think I'm pretty sure we've covered one of his songs before he released his last song. And uh, I guess it was, maybe late January or early February this year. And he's a grinder. He's always reaching out, sending stuff. And it's, I just have a lot of respect for Jacob Armitage. I believe that's how you say it. It might be Taj, but uh, he just, or actually, no, I totally forgot. This is the 
a world debut once again. And I'm so excited we get to share this song. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it drops to streaming next Friday, actually. So um, if you're listening, this is the first time you'll be hearing this song. Uh, it's Your Hometown by Jacob Armitage. can't get more relatable than that. I picked a ton of relatable stuff this week. But hey, it's country music. This is why we're here. <laughs> especially for Miss Helen, because oh, sometimes us it. hometown girls got to burn those roads. And mm -hmm. like in my case, it was run off to Austin or run off to Houston or run yep. off to San Antonio or Corpus. But I just, I love that. I love that she just left no trail to follow. And I, I love Always his voice. Everything was good. Anywhere yeah. but here in your hometown. She ain't nowhere so to well be done. found. Yeah, I need to you ask know, him who he's recording or who's producing his stuff because his recording sound really yes, good. Yes, <clears> yes, <throat> absolutely. Yeah, so that's my picks. Okay, better up for me. Okay, since we have the tap room door open, y'all, this is so exciting. One of our favorites, everybody loves Curtis Grimes. This just dropped to radio. It's brand new from Curtis Grimes for radio, and it's called Miles Don't Matter. Brand new country on the radio from Curtis Grimes. Everybody, everybody's been waiting, but um, mm -hmm. miles don't matter. I just, I loved all lyrically how he painted the picture of driving down that road and what she was feeling, what she was wearing. And it's just, it's just a complete, strong, awesome song from Curtis Grimes, who we absolutely love. And I, I love Curtis Grimes, but I also love his fiddle player mama tula is a brother from another oh, so yeah. i think as pat plays fiddle for him but curtis is just good and solid he's had multiple multiple hits on the charts you yeah. know also on the, the the gospel positive country side in texas as well and we all love curtis another big hit for him miles don't matter yeah, his batting average is a thousand yes <laughs> okay so total polar opposite going to Cody Jinks. Mm. This song, Cody Jinks just uh, released a new radio release. It's called Hurt You. I'm a huge Cody Jinks fan. I love Cody is, he has so much variety in his music. But the one thing I want to talk about with this song is you have to see the video. And the video for this is actually the first video that Cody Jinks has ever done. Really? Oh, it's like a full production music video? It is a music video and it oh, is wow. full production and it's like, that. and it's like when you listen to the song and it's about how, I mean, it's just, it's deep. It's a very deep song. Uh, in the video, it starts out with the girl, he's like, they're in a church filming the video, mm -hmm. full band. And then like this, this girl walks in, that's the, the main character that's in the video. And like, there's some guys up there and it's just like real evil and real eerie. And they have these Dracula teeth on. And then she gets picked up by some, by some sisters and homegirls. And then she comes back and whoops her ass basically. Oh shit. So, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, Cody man. Jinks. I mean, he never ceases to amaze me with yeah. what he does. Mm -hmm. And so everybody, get ready for hurt you and it's this is one of those songs they used to say so many times that sometimes there's a song that you'll hear on the radio or you're in these days here on streaming right but then when you see the video like you are like you have a total different appreciation for the song and that's one well, it's and, the same thing with seeing music live too you know sorry to cut you yes, off but it's like yes yes you can yes, hear yes. a song a hundred times and it might never click until you go see it live and then it's just like this is the coolest song i've ever heard in my life and so, and then um, next up, I, I saw hitting bubbling under in the charts is Co Wetzel. Mm -hmm. He's actually Surprise got a spinners. single that radio's picking up. It's called April Showers. It mm -hmm. is, it's, it's an, it's another kind of heavy one, but yep. it, it's true to life. It makes so much sense. And so, just check out Co's new single, April Showers, because there's a, there's a lot of good twists and turns on that lyrically, and of course, musically, it's Co Wetzel. Maybe toned down a little bit for radio. Yeah. But uh, I I think it's great. I like Cole mm -hmm. too. So and yeah. he's got a new record on the way too. So keep yes. an eye out for all that. Yeah. All right. So we're going to take a look at the charts. Texas Regional Radio Report coming in at number five this week. Um, from number six to number five, Josh Abbott Band, Highway Kind. Jake Bush is at number four with Tractor Town. He was at number nine. So he moved up quite a bit. So That's good awesome. job, Jake. Really yeah. proud of Matt Castillo. Matt moved up from five to three because he's a cowboy. John Wolf's Cowgirl Like You is at number two, and Wade Bowen hit number one with Phones Don't Work on the Texas Regional Radio Report. And there's a lot of stuff on that report down there too that's interesting. Now, looking at the Texas Country Music Chart, 
um, new one on the chart that had high debuts this week was, I do want to make a mention of this Brad Jensky, Jensky. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we would say Jensky in my hometown, but <laughs> some people say Jensky, but uh, Morning Rain, check out that song. It's a, it's a really good, strong song and he's getting, I'm, I'm seeing him like pop up everywhere. And so he came in when he debuted at 94, just released. And of course, Brandon Ryder, Cody Jinks is up there too with her. You and Hayden Haddock and John Wolf's Tequila debuted. They were, they were part of that group for the highest debuts. Yeah. And then, so anyway, I could go on and on about this. Part. I love <laughs> the way they break things down. So yeah. looking at number five on the Texas country music chart, William Clark Green all you got Casey Donahue made a big move from number eight to number four with telling on my heart Misky Myers of course they were number one last week um John Wayne's at three John Wolf was at four he went to number two so he's he's about to phone up Wade Bowen hey Wade Bowen phones don't work (laughs) needs to get out the way so oh man you you have that in your back pocket huh (laughs) <laughs> no, I just, I just pulled that out of my. Book. Oh, you're just riffing, okay? Yeah, I just. That's I impressive. Just, I just made that up. Okay, so. CD Extraction, Texas. Oh, and I want to say something about this chart. You know how like on your social media, like on Facebook, you look back at your memories, and this was back in 2016 when I was in radio, and I actually we had gotten the first chart from CD Extraction, Texas, and I shared it on my personal page. Hmm. So glad that we have a Texas chart back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Little history there, everybody. Mm -hmm. So CD Extraction, Texas, number five is our buds, the Wilder Blue with Wave Dancer. Number four is Josh Abbott Band, the Highway Kind. Whiskey Myers is at number three with John Wayne. Number two is John Wolf, a cowgirl like you. And straight across the board wade bowen number one this week with phones don't work i love wade bowen what a guy yeah (laughs) i know he's just i mean like he's just the absolute best Mm -hmm. so uh, i also forgot to mention john stark just dropped a brand new song yesterday I Forever saw, man. Yes, yes that's it's it's crazy to me because like blood's still climbing you know it's doing really good on the charts and like this song if he were to drop it to radio at the same time uh, like <laughs> it might even jump blood because it's such a good song like the story is just amazing i believe actually i don't want to say that I, he co-wrote a lot of the songs in the record and that's what i know and uh once it comes out you'll uh You'll see why I felt the need yeah. to mention that. <laughs> well, well, actually, I saw he had he had posted like a little teaser on social, like a little teaser about it. Oh yeah, like a little with a little like hook or something. Mm-hmm. But yep, it's out today. John's so got go all kind out. of stuff going on. Man, I'm so excited for him. <sighs> yep, absolutely. So. Um, I was gonna mention there's a couple or a lot uh, aside from my my show with Shelton this weekend. There's a lot of cool music going on this weekend in the Houston area. If you're around, I know Wilder Blue are playing Saturday at Dosido, and I'm so. I'm so bummed that I can't go see it, although I'm going to have a great night. You'll be um, banging the drums. <laughs> yeah. I uh, should come and play cowbell. <laughs> please do. Please do. I'll put you on the list. Let's do it. <laughs> I can oh, so do man. That. Okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah, Sheldon would love that. But yeah, go, go see some music this weekend. If you uh, haven't gotten yes, out in a long time, yes. now's your chance. I, I know none of you have any big plans this weekend after last weekend. So You know, I saw something really cool this week. You know how we support our small businesses locally in our small towns and, mm-hmm. and you know, and, and even in our areas like, you know, where you live in certain subdivisions or whatever, yeah. supporting small business. And there was something I saw about supporting our local, like local musicians that play near you, just like you go shop at the shops in your downtown right. square or in your area, in your zip code, go see the musicians that are coming to your venues in your area. And I was like, dang, they just nailed it on that. That's something yeah. I should have thought of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so go support live music locally. Yeah, just go have a good time. Why not? I think there's a big show happening at Kenny's store Saturday. I can't remember who it was. I was looking through Instagram. I know who it is. I keep up with Kenny's store. And (laughs) I I mean, like, literally, this is the kind of day I had. So, you know, you know, we're, you know, we stay so busy and I had so many things to get prepped for visitors coming in and our little tourists that come to the beach and the condos. Mm -hmm. And so I was, I kind of changed up and getting ready for the, the evening attire, which is this. Yeah. It's a joke. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I was running around. Ron's like, what do you do? I'm like, I can't find my sunglasses. He said they're on your head. <laughs> I hear you. That's Shame what on said. Me. You said you're joking about your evening attire, but who knows? I never know if you're going to go jump on the boat or what. Who knows? 
Mm -hmm. I don't even want to talk about that. We got boat major boat motor issues. Oh no. We got bad news. This bad news this morning. Well, okay, change subject. Let's talk about the Astros. Okay, so all good. All good. (laughs) So that's why I'm up here in the in the in the loft because the game is still on, but man, they've just been playing like crazy. I mean, yeah. what 13 and a half games in first place. And the thing has been interesting with this Kansas city series and they're fixing to wrap it up and then they're hitting the road and headed to play the A's. But I, I was watching, you know, they were getting out in front of us every game, this series, and we only lost one game. Well, we're still going to wrap this one up. I'm sure we'll win this one. But they would make it, they would have all this momentum, like till third or fourth inning, and then they would just like, just like fizzle out. And like I was watching one of their infielders last night, it's like, no hustle. It's like, really? no, you should have had that ball and just gave up. Hmm. Just like gave up. So anyway. I could, yeah, talk more about that, but <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I haven't been keeping up. Like I said, I turned the game on at work earlier today and they were down one zero and then I kind of forgot it was happening. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, did we tell the, the big TCMA news last week? I can't remember. Oh no, we didn't. I don't <clears throat> think so. Okay. Well, tell them what's happening. Well, so I don't, I don't think we did. I mean, I didn't even know where my sunglasses were on top of well, my we'll, head, but we'll let's tell talk them every about week. It. So we're very excited because Kyle and I were present because we love everything about Texas country and Texas country music awards. And we just rolled up in there last year and set up and did the red carpet. And of course, Mm -hmm. sweet Linda Wilson was gracious enough to ask us back. And so I'll be co-hosting on the red carpet at Mm -hmm. the TCMAs. So when you come through, come say what's up, I'll be chit-chatting. I'll yeah, just, chit chat. just come stand behind the camera and I'll, I'll get you, you can do a little cameo or something. <laughs> yeah, so we're excited and, and thankful and grateful. And, Absolutely. you know, it's, it speaks volumes of how far we've come in just a little over a year mm-hmm. to think that we've had so much support, but it's because we truly believe in what we do. And we're just yep. us. What you, 100%. I mean, we're not like, I'll like, check this out. I mean, like, you I, know, that's a we're really not good all, point. I guess I don't know if we've ever like highlighted that. Not that it's necessary, but I don't know if anybody out there listening thinks about this. But like this whole thing is just me and Miss Helen. Like there's no nobody else doing anything. So Mm -hmm. I don't know. I I, it's and you might like this. I sent out a tweet like yesterday or a couple days ago, and it was just like we've been doing this for you know well over a year now at this point, and we haven't missed a single week of artists. Like I think Mm -hmm. we missed one Texas on Tap during the hurricane, but because I yeah I was tore up. So (laughs) that's what I'm saying. So we've done we've done two podcasts a week for almost a or over a year. Over a year. And that just goes to show the like abundance of incredible talent here. And it's, that just blows my mind. Like there's no shortage of like actually genuinely talented and authentic music in this state. And like, it's, if it's, it's crazy to me. Like if we were in a different genre, well, there's no way we could keep up with this. <laughs> right. And, 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 and that's, and see and that's the great thing like we all talk about in our little texas country music family is like everybody's so Mm tight-knit and there's such a bond and everybody's just like hey what's up i mean it's like and you're you're friends for life friends forever all all of the reacquaintances i've had all the new friends that we have and i'm just i am elated to be getting to do what i do and like a lot of my radio friends had contacted me or like people that had worked with me in radio and they were like you know you just that was well deserved like i'm really a humble person yeah. like that should have happened years ago but mm-hmm. you know i'm devoted to what i'm doing and yep. and so when an opportunity like that comes along that's just like wow <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just because I mean, even for the musicians listening, it just goes to show the networking, you know, will get you places and you know, we're getting some recognition, which is awesome and super, you know, uh, like humbling and appreciated. So I I don't know, it's just, it's a group effort. We're all a team, everybody, you know, it's Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I don't know, just seeing how everybody works together. It makes me really happy because that's not necessarily what I was used to before. And I just I feel so welcome in this, uh, in this new world that I'm living in. And I'm real glad to be a part of it. So, so true. Mm-hmm. So I see your shirt. I knew Kyle before Garrett. Uh, oh, I was going to get to that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, I went just the light. We'll come back to it. <laughs> um, so no, I was going to say, speaking of friends, we've got all kinds of friends. You got a new friend coming on next week. Actually, before we get to that, we had the Ransom Brothers on last week, and that was probably 
this might be like the third time I've said this so far, but it makes sense in the, in chronological order. Uh, probably my favorite interview we've had so far. Um, also, we there's some teasers from the Ransom Brothers' new upcoming record, which comes out in August on the on the uh, on the podcast, and it was. We were listening, and it was like, you know, it's. I couldn't imagine listening to that interview and not being able to hear the music. It's just like I have to put something in, guys. Let me put something in. They said, okay, so yes, <laughs> you yes. got you to check that one out. Um, we've got Taylor Dunn coming up this week. Uh, we've got Trent Cowie coming back. Oh my gosh, my brother! <laughs> yeah, my that's gonna be fun. Animals coming on. That's gonna be a fun one. Mm-hmm. And lots of others on the on the books. So lots to look forward to. Um, I guess. Uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, I'm what? <laughs> nothing, nothing. What else you got? <laughs> I'm good. I just, I mean, I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna tell you something though. That whole week, to, the whole week, you know, with Fourth of July falling on a Monday, and like for me here, oh, it's it's, it, the, the whole holiday started on a Wednesday, mm-hmm. and then I mean, by the time Tuesday got here, I was just like, it's like a whole week. I was gone. I was oh, yeah. just like, I'm so done. And there was still fireworks going off at 11 o'clock last night. On the oh, beach. I believe it. Yeah, there's fireworks yeah. going off in my neighborhood right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's expected here, but seriously, in town? Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. So switching gears to this, I was going to say, you've got one of these coming in the mail. My, oh, thank you. I, fin- I finally recorded my, uh, finally finished recording my record. Um, and I've got some of little perks in for everybody who helped me. Uh, make that record so I, I don't know I thought this was a quirky little that's a, quirky I little. like that I like that that's catchy yeah well that. it's one it's one of a kind so only a handful of people will ever have one and I won't make them again so okay all right kind of cute well yeah yeah I guess that's yeah. it go see some music this week yeah uh check out John Stork and all the other people we talked about and uh listen to the radio mm-hmm <laughs> Cool. We done? All right. Yeah, I guess so. Go Strohs. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> she knew where I was from as she left, I dare to say.